All right, hello neighbors. Today, you're in for a treat. We're gonna do spinach e chicken. That's spinach with the Y, spinach e. I saw this off of a Korean cooking TV show. And sometimes, you know, you see like the guests on the show and they're always like, oh, so good. And so I wanted to see, and I tried it this weekend and it was, oh. For my palate, it was a check mark and I think it will be a, oh, for you as well. So if you want to try singing, come try this dish. All right, this recipe on that Korean cooking show, there was like a guest Bulgarian chef and he did this and I think uh, the Koreans really digged it because it's simple, easy, and good. All right, let's get a pot with boiling water and then some fresh spinach. Two very large handfuls, put them in. These two large handfuls, it looks like a lot, but trust me, it isn't. Put them into the water and then set a timer for 45 minutes. Ooh, 45 seconds, 45 seconds, guys. If you cook it for 45 minutes, you're a tonto. All right, that's good. We'll empty it out, drain it, and then just cool it down under some cold water so it stops cooking. Then we're gonna squeeze out the water. I got a little hidden talent at squeezing spinach because I got that tennis grip. Ooh, extra top spin. Man, I do miss playing tennis. In Seoul, there's not a lot of space, so you'll see sometimes like uh, training centers that give you like half a quart, and that's how you train. So sad. Chop it up into small bite-sized pieces. We're talking about a small piece like that. Put it into our bowl. And we're gonna bless this with some cheese. A few types of cheese. First one, feta. This is my favorite type of common cheese. Just get a block and I'm gonna just grate. Let's get a good amount. And a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I was trying to find, you know, kind of a little section of a wheel, but you know, this was cheaper. And I'm gonna just add a little handful. Maybe a little bit more. Get a nice blend of cheese like that. Oh, it's from Wisconsin. Hello, Wisconsin. You know, I heard that Wisconsin, the cheese curds is like a big deal. I've never been to Wisconsin, but uh, I'd be interested to try over some fries. Ooh, that's the fatty in me speaking. Get back on track, some black pepper, maybe three or four cracks. Then just mix this together. Those feta cheese crumbles, they're gonna act kind of like a paste and bind this together. All right, and we got something like that for a filling. Next, very simple, we have some chicken breasts. Cut this in half, not all the way, just to the edge so that you can open it up like Harry Potter. Very good. Same with this one, let's make a volume two. And voila, series is finished. Right now, it almost looks like some fish and plus it's too thick that uh, inside is not gonna melt. So we wanna pound this out. Put it in a little plastic bag or a Ziploc. If you have a tenderizer, you know that little uh, mini, um, I keep wanting to say Thor, but it's not. Um, I actually ordered one, but didn't come in time. All right, so back to the Korean way. Just grab whatever in the kitchen you were hit with as a kid and ask any uh, kid from Korean immigrant family. I've been hit with a golf club, tennis racket, one of those old school Korean back scratchers. Ooh, in the back of the thighs. And uh, all right, and once you beat your kids, it's all love, baby. It's all love. I mean, look at that heart. Well, it has a little tear here. <laughs> All right, I'll stop this train of thought. Let's move on. Repair the wound with a little bit of salt. <laughs> Sorry. Then a little bit of black pepper. Flip it to the other side. Black pepper. Now, good things always come in pair of threes. We use feta cheese, then Parmesan Reggiano. <laughs> Why does that sound so weird to me? Some smoked cheese. This is like smoked Gouda. Yeah. This just adds just another great taste towards it. So just chop it up. This harder cheese is gonna provide a nice balance. Then we're gonna get a little bit of our spinach. All right, then like a sandwich artist, we're gonna do them proud and we're gonna just close them up, pack it down, and we got ourselves $5 foot long. And let's do a quick inventory check. Looks like we have enough for one more for a total of three spinachy chicken breasts. Here's a potato. I think it's confused. It wants to be a pear. I'm gonna make them very thin so that they cook so that they quick cook quickly. All right, and then if you have zucchini, perfect. I'm using Korean ehobak, which is like a Korean zucchini. All right, my friends, with no further ado, let's get this show on the road. We'll put this on a medium heat first. Let's get it nice and hot. All right, once the oil's hot, let's reduce this to a medium low. Let's get our beautiful sandwich on. Look at that thing go, beautiful. While our little sandwich cooks, 
as well as our zucchini. Oh, that's miraculous. All right, and we get a little sneak peek here. Once you see most of the pink on that inside gone, then we can give it a flip. For our vegetable pieces, a little bit of salt, black pepper as well, garlic slices, why not? Maybe fragrance the vegetables a little bit more. All right, and you see that inside? It's all white. Let's give it a flip. Very nice, that smoked Gouda is starting to melt out a little bit. Maybe once it touches the floor, we'll know that it's, uh, it's ready to eat. And once you start to see some of that cheese crawling out from the bottom, I think we're in a good place, my friends. Grab this from the back side. Put the vegetables back in the middle. We got a little bit of a crispy edge on these uh, zucchinis. Perfect, perfecto, perfecto, let's take them out. All right, and with chicken, we need a little bit of a sauce to make it nice and fun. I'm gonna show you a very simple recipe. First thing, we need some heavy cream. If you're making this in Korea, it's called sink cream. I want six cracks of black pepper and then yellow mustard. Maybe like half a hot dog. I think that's about half a hot dog. Then we're gonna just mix it up. And I want you to break up the clumps of the mustard. And you see that it's kind of like an off cream color. I want mine a little bit stronger, so I'm gonna put in a little bit more mustard. Give it a taste now. Ooh, it's nice, that's good. Not half a hot dog, however much mustard you'll put on a regular Costco-sized hot dog, that's how much you wanna put in. <laughs> and a good way to present it, cut a little bit at an angle. To the second one, a little bit at an angle. And let me just show you the inside. Oh, mama. Wow. We come in with our impromptu sauce, drizzle. Oh, mama. I want to express myself, so little circles. Yeah, yeah. The reason we're not getting three Michelin stars this year, we don't have fresh parsley on hand. <laughs> Some dressed. Oh. All right, allow me to take the first bite. You know the lady on the celebrity TV show? She said, when I was having this dish, I felt like I was in a resort, like on a vacation resort somewhere like a nice hotel restaurant food. That's, that's exactly my feeling as well. This sauce is so money. Just a little bit of cream with that mustard. It gives that right balance. Oh, amazing. Five stars. Oh my gosh. Neighbors, now you know this recipe. If you're a youngin and you get in trouble, avoid getting hit by the back scratcher. And instead, <laughs> just make your parents some spinachy chicken will calm them down, make the whole house happy.